on this uh, Friday morning, end of the week. Welcome. Now, heading towards 20 years of freedom and democracy, has affirmative action worked? There's a question for you. What needs to be done to transform South Africa's workplace? That was the big question asked last night in the debate chaired by the Black Management Forum. Joining us now is Coco Kumalo. She is the Deputy President of the Black Management Forum. Coco, it's good to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thanks, Ian. Good morning. Okay. Um, what is the BMF sort of looking at when asking this question? What, kind, what did you find out of the debate last night? Well, we found that there's still different views uh, from other, uh, maybe political parties, about the rationale behind the affirmative action as we saw it uh, as BMF through our Basutu head formula, where we had said by the year 2000, we should at least have people in top management at a certain percentage. A concern is that Commission on Employment Equity for 2012 it's just saying between 2002 and 2012 is a mere movement from uh, 10 to 12.3 percent. That can't be the end. At yeah. best, we thought it should be 20 percent. So that pattern is worrying because it talks to, you know, likes tend to like likes. So when we look at the report, it is still more white male females that are in top decision making positions in the country. That doesn't reflect the demographics of this country at all. It's not good for the next generation. It's not good for the next generation of leaders in terms of development to bring in different thinking and perspective as to how we shape this country together as South Africans. Yeah. What's not working? Because, I mean, when you, when you look at the latest Employment Equity Commission's report, it demonstrates that we're far from reaching targets, just what you're saying. Well, the, the reason for last night was to really deepen the debate around affirmative action and transformation and empowerment in this country. So what is not working? The employment equity plans, I think, for companies are very clear. They set targets as to what they need to achieve. We think we need to revisit the structures, including governance structures, the employment equity forums at work. Are they working or not working? Are the people representing uh, the, the designated groups at the right level? We argued last night to say, perhaps as the same way that organizations manage the PNL, PLN, uh, profit and loss, they must also manage transformation in that manner. It's not really about the scorecard. It's about empowering people and retain them in the majority people of color and Africans in particular. Yeah. Uh, affirmative action hasn't really been well received. I mean, that's, um, we, 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 we're looking at it. You know, the question is whether it's working or not. And, and you know, from the figures you're telling me that there's, there seems to be more that definitely needs to be done. But wh why was the concept not well received? It's a difficult one, Lian. So what we did as a board uh, in our strategic document between 2012 to 2015, one of the key initiatives that we'll be driving is the development of a transformation master plan. Really because we say there's been an act, Employment Equity Act, influenced by the BMF Affirmative, F Affirmative Action Blueprint. There's been triple BE, but something just doesn't work. Mm. Um, so we say in the development of the transformation master plan, we need to engage as many stakeholders as possible so that when we do our own research in developing the plan, we, we are better informed. I actually like the comment that was made by Solidarity last night, which said, let's talk as South Africans because there's confusion there. Uh, we know we, we talk across each other. We don't seem to be driving towards the same direction in terms of empowering many. So we, we told them that we engage with them, but it was a good debate. It was good for our members. Affirmative action is the baby of BMF. We really want to capture that space again as a BMF. Yeah, sounded like you had quite a variety of people gathered there last night from, from solidarity we, to... We had ANC, uh, yeah? we had solidarity, we had DA, yeah. Fantastic. And, I mean, everybody agreeing on the same concept that more needs to be done when it comes to affirmative action mm -hmm. or or should there be a change in the way affirmative action is managed is that perhaps what needs to change look obviously i can't speak on the various parties but they do have their own thinking obviously anc's policies are very clear uh, solidarity the solidarity are raising their concerns around the issue of race uh, and whether we are discriminating against the wise DA was articulating their plan around affirmative action. But we are very clear as BMF that we are pro-transformation. We would like to see the country representation, in particular in corporate South, 
South Africa representing the demographics of this country because mm. it's good for the greater good and for the future of this country. All right, interesting discussion. Thank you so much for joining us. Koko Komalo is the Deputy President of the uh, Black Management Forum.